Hey there, fashion friends. Welcome to today's episode. What are we doing today? Well, I am going to be breaking down my favorite looks from New York Fashion Week. Like, ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like. Ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like. Today's sponsor. What I love most about Zuby's Halo hair dryer is you get that efficiency of the fast drying, but at the same time, you're not getting that heat damage and all while still getting a smooth, professional looking blowout. And the reason for that is that the Halo doesn't just dry your hair faster with cooler temperatures. It also keeps your hair hydrated, which is absolutely crucial for the health of your hair. So if you would like to invest in the Halo hair dryer yourself, make sure to click the link down below and use my link Emily12 to get 12% off your order. I love the fashion season. I love fashion week. I just get super excited about seeing new designs and just new ways of styling and new ways of configuring things and just different outlooks on fashion in general. I also find it really helpful for just my own personal styling. I get just inspired to style different things that I already have in my wardrobe. It just kind of gives me a whole different perspective. Let's get started. Okay, so for years, I've actually been using the Vogue Runway app. It's just got this grid, super easy, super minimalist. So I love it, just super user friendly. So that's what I use every fashion week. Um, and that's what I'm gonna be referencing here today. This is a look from Forms Spring 2024 Ready to Wear collection. Because it's so simple, I feel like is what makes it effective. It's so simple and elegant. I love the leggings, I love where they hit, and I just love the classic really simple sandal with it. Then on top of that, we've just got this double rested oversized cardigan, which again is very simple, but if you really look at it and look at its silhouette and its shape, it has definitely a little contemporary little twist, definitely got a little bit more of shape and structure to it than just like your normal sort of cardigan. But what I absolutely love is just the little, little detail of the metallic shirt underneath. And it just gives that little bit of dimension in just a very effortless, understated way. But just having that little tweak of the metallic tee underneath just makes all the difference. All right, Sergio Hudson. It might be a bold statement, but I think Sergio Hudson's collection might be my favorite collection of spring 2024 so far. This is my favorite look from his collection. Yes, we've got and cut these hot pants, these hot shorts going on. So it's got that vintage pinup mood, but then combined with a very sophisticated mood. And then even further pushed, further elevated with the edgy sort of avant-garde pointed structure shoulders. I'm in love with this because there's just all sorts of yummy contrasts happening. But then just the cherry on top is the monochrome color styling. Yes, yes. Yes, and I think that I could replicate it in some form or another, maybe, you know, having the empire belt with some tighter fitting pants can definitely still give me that kind of vibe. All right, next look is Ralph Lauren. I'm not gonna lie, Ralph Lauren's collection was pretty magical. Yeah, there was just a lot happening. It was definitely not minimalist in any sort of way. It was very maximalist, but I loved it because I think there's just so much edgy contrast happening, but in a very elegant, timeless sort of way. I don't know how he does it, but he does. This jacket in itself, I'd maybe sell, sell a kidney or two for it. <laughs> just kidding. But I think the structure of that and like the rigidness of that then combined with the femininity of the gold mesh top and then the long flowy maxi skirt. It's just again, that yummy contrast of different textures, but as well as that different styles. You could just wear like a, a cropped blazer or a faux leather blazer, or maybe it's even a motorcycle jacket, probably could get that same sort of vibe um, and then just combine it with like a mesh top or a gold top just with like a buckled belt and a long flowy skirt. I don't wear skirts, but if I did, I would definitely rock that look. Okay, next look is from Dion Lee. I love the whole androgynous cohesiveness of this collection and I love this outfit because I could easily replicate this outfit um, with pieces that I already have in my wardrobe. I have my Ghani country boots that could easily replicate these boots. I'm definitely not on the no pants trend bandwagon, but I do have a pair of like flesh colored leggings that I love to wear to kind of give that illusion. So I will definitely rock those. Okay, next look is coming from Philip Lim, good old Pip. I have been trying 
my best to ignore the fact that capri pants are coming back. Because when capri pants were around the last time, I, I loved me a capri pant. I am not gonna lie. I'm, I'm not ashamed. The thing with capri pants is I do feel like they might, they are sort of a fleeting trend. And I don't mean that necessarily for everybody else, whatever, like some people might buy them and be like, yes, I love these, I will wear these for years. But for me, I mean me personally, the last time I had them, I definitely got over them by the time the season, their season was over. But I'm, I'm definitely feeling that pull. I'm definitely feeling that temptation to style some Capri pants. Here's another one from Philip Lim. I just wanted to share this one because I love the khaki on khaki. And I think that anybody that also loves this khaki on khaki, this can easily be replicated because obviously we all have khaki pants or you can get your hands on some khaki wide leg pants. A lot of people have the khaki shirts. I mean, not that you couldn't buy this look yourself because if you're in that price point, then I would say go for this because it is definitely something that's gonna be classic and timeless. I had to revisit Sergio Hudson because Again, like I said, I think he is my favorite collection of the season. This look is very much not me in the sense of the coloring. There's a lot of coloring happening. You know, I'm not one for a lot of details. However, the pieces themselves, I am there for every day. I definitely have the long overcoat, uh, the white shirt, and the high-waisted trouser pant, wide leg trouser pant, and like an empire belt. The thing I don't have is the corseted top. I don't know if I would invest in a corseted top. Um, it's not very practical for me or my daily lifestyle. However, I absolutely love it when I see it in styling. And when I see it in this look layered with a white button up shirt, it definitely is that bait that is kind of wanting me to bite. I just love the kind of contrasting of the different textures, of the different structures and the different silhouettes. And of course the yummy, yummy layering that is just adding so much dimension to this look. But when each piece is broken down, all classic, all timeless, can't go wrong. Okay, so this is so not practical, but absolutely love this head to toe houndstooth, just the tight form fitting femininity of it. And then just sort of with the overcoat draped over the shoulders in such a boss way. Yes, if I could, I would. Next is from Brandon Maxwell. I love the silhouette of these two pieces. I love a good flare. I love the silhouette of the top as well combined with the flares. Just a really fresh contemporary sort of look, but also at the same time, very elegant and very timeless. Um, and, and, and understated in a beautiful way. You could maybe find like a baby doll dress that's a similar like A-line sort of uh, frame. Another one from Brian and Maxwell. I'm just sharing this because I absolutely love, love this. I'm not one for dresses. I don't wear dresses very often, but if I did, yes, let's, let's add a blazer. That structured silhouette of the blazer then combined with that flowy femininity of the sheer skirt. Oof, love it. And then just layering over top this, I don't even know what you would call it, like a gauzy sort of shawl. I don't know, but I mean, just brilliant. Just yummy, yummy layering. All right, my friends, that is my breakdown of my favorite looks from New York Fashion Week. Definitely comment below and let me know which one of these was your favorite, or if you have a favorite that I did not share here today, I'd love to hear about it. But uh, otherwise, yeah, if you did like today's episode, you know what to do. Give me that thumbs up, comment below, share with your friends and subscribe for future weekly episodes and make sure to click the little bell to get notified when I post those new episodes. All right, my friends, you have a beautiful, lovely rest of your day. Stay healthy, stay safe, love and support each other. And we will definitely be chatting soon. Bye.